Houston with a chance to tie or win it. Maxwell to Smith. Overtime. Off the rim at the buzzer. Just four seconds left on the clock. Rockets trailing by one. Gordon Maxwell takes it left to right of the circle. Goes down to the dream underneath. Elijah Wan has it. Shake and bake right. Goes up for the shot. No good. <laughs> That's it. I just can't. Despite falling to the Sonics yet again the Rockets were encouraged by their performance and would head into the next season with extraordinary confidence and camaraderie. The Houston Rockets would like to thank you for your support this season. But wait! He was fouled! Because everyone knows it's not easy being a sports fan in Houston. One more chance folks, do you believe in miracles? That summer, Charlie Thomas sold the team to Les Alexander. He remained a lifelong fan of the Houston Rockets and was a constant fixture in the crowd at home games. We think we have a great chance. I'm not going to say for what, but a great chance. I don't want to jinx anything, but we think we're a terrific team. Yo, what's up? This is Tajay of the Mighty Souls of Mischief Crew. I'm chilling with my man Festo, my man. Hey, bless him, my man. Oh, you know he's dope. Yo, yo, and right now, you know, we're just maxing in the studio. We're hailing from East Oakland, California, and um, sometimes it gets a little hectic out there. Right now, you know, we gon' love you on how we just chill. Dollar seven digits, call up Bridget, her man's a midget. Plus he got friends, yo, I can dig it. Here's a 40 swig it, you know it's frigid. I got him chillin' in the cooler, break out the ruler. Damn, that's the fattest dog I ever seen. The weather's keen in Cali, getting weed, it makes it feel like Maui. Now we feel the good vibrations. So many females, so much inspiration. I get inspired by the blunts too, too. I'll front you, you. If you hang with the bunk crew, I roam the strip for bones to pick. What I find when I our shots when we're hitting our threes and we're just you know we're, we're on a roll you just can't stop it. Maxwell set for another three. Maxwell. The dream. Elijah on run around Chambers with a slam. you ain't too quiet huh? Who? Me? Who likes to be the center of attention? Next Rocket tomorrow at 8 Eastern on TNT. It's electric here in the garden. The Houston Rockets at 14-0. The Rockets trying to make some NBA history tonight in the Big Apple. They say in New York, it was in the papers, not in our house. team have found the recipe for success with their selfless offense and tenacious defense, both anchored around the Dream, who was now the reigning defensive player of the year. Robert Ory blocks the shot, blocks it again! Oh boy, what hustle by Houston! The roster remained largely the same although it was almost overhauled after the team agreed to trade Robert Horry. You know, you always hear the whispers. It was like, okay, He's kind of shaking because he won't shoot the ball. Does he believe in his shot? And then Rudy called me, and he was like, well, I'm sorry, we traded you to Detroit. 
The deal was rescinded, however, after Sean Elliott, who would have been the return for Horry, failed his physical. He forced me to say, I'm going to shoot the ball, forget all y'all, I'm going to do what got me here. And I said, what y'all going to do, trade me again? Sunday, Mahmoud Abdul-Rose was taking aim at Calvin Murphy's NBA record for free throw percentage in a season, but with Murphy putting a hex on him, Mahmoud comes up short. Look out, he missed it, he missed it, Murphy's record is saved. Sam Castle played his way into the rotation as his rookie season wore on and forced Tomjanovic to find minutes for him in an already crowded backcourt rotation. I wanted to play so bad. And I gave them guys that do credit, but I just say, hey, they're not better than me. The Rockets acquired Mario Ely from Portland who provided key minutes off the bench playing on the wing. We were very competitive with myself and Sam against Kenny and Vernon. We battle, we almost fight at times. As the season ended, Hakeem Olajuwon guided Houston to 58 wins and another Midwestern Division title. the entire valley at Houston today. That's my opinion. Well, we put a lot of pressure on ourselves when that series rolled around because um, Seattle was out of it by then. We felt like we had the home court throughout the playoffs and we feel like we win all our home games from here on out. We win it. I sit alone in my four-cornered room staring at candles. Well, that shit is on. <laughs> Let me talk some that you want Charles Barkley taking the fadeaway jump shot season. Elijah Wan against Young Miller. Ori. And let's see if they bring it back to the left. Maxwell hits the three. Three on one. Thorpe. Twelve in a row. Uh, you, you model it after Otis Thorpe. Kenny Smith with a steal. He tries the three. Johnson with a brilliant drive. Ori. To Thorpe, blocked by Barkley, jump ball. Barkley uh, answering some of the taunts of the crowd. And get down to the baseline. Barkley with a power move, he scores. And a foul. Five on the clock for Barkley. To force the three and he hits it. And that was one of those high octane games, and he had to take a breather at the end of three. Marley. Smith. Oh, wow. KJ with a foul, but that's going to be flagrant. I'm making a and when that one comes down, the Phoenix Suns will have an opening game win. They upset the Rockets at home in game one. Oh, it's fantastic. We're having a great time. It's just, I really, I'm thrilled to be a part of this organization, and the, the plane ride was great. General Manager Jerry Colangelo was quick to capitalize on the moment as he spent the morning serving coffee and donuts to those in line. We are here to watch the Suns win. We're going to sweep Houston, all right? Martin Bouchard basketball. 
we played good enough to win. We had the lead. But going back to the locker room, still cannot understand or explain or justify how we lost that game. We know we were supposed to win. I don't know how he got this shot already. Seven on the shot clock. Barkley, who has played well by Thorpe in game number one. The fadeaway. Maxwell still looking to score. The team sitting down for a rest. <laughs> Scotty Brockwriter, I think if you're Westfall, you got to get a timeout. It's starting to slip a little bit. The Rockets are just stampeding the Phoenix Suns. Here we go to the final 12 minutes. The Rockets leading in 100 to 82. A chance to cut the lead. Marley is going to pull up. Didn't get him all, but look at Barkley. And he's fouled by Herrera. Charles Barkley stepped inside to get the offensive rebound. Team champ. Two and three. It's tied at 108. Got a double. Got a double in. Barkley. No. Did that beat the buzzer? No. 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 We have overtime. Nevertheless, a three-point opportunity. Devin Johnson dishes to Barkley for the set shot. Unbelievable collapse here by Houston. The fans are booing, and you know what? This is awful because the heart has been taken out of the Houston Rockets right now. We were up in the fourth quarter, 20 points. 20 points. It wasn't by accident. We just get 20 points. We dominated them completely. There isn't anybody over there who wants to shoot. So when Akeem got it, we were all over him like that cheap suit you got. The people were so excited about uh, making this trip. Uh, they were singing songs, watching uh, videotapes of the Suns, uh, chanting, cheering. Uh, it was really an experience. The most helpless person in the building right now is Rudy Tomjanovich. Because you try to give confidence and stuff to these guys, but the only confidence they can get is through results. When I saw those headlines that said Choke City, I thought that would be like I was the guy who got punched. That's going to be tacked to my name for the rest of my life. Okay, guys, acoustics, you, you would just be locked up with him. And I said, calm down. If you can get up by 20 points, you can beat these guys. And then they're looking up, and then I'm saying, that guy can't stay in front of you, Max. You can beat that guy. He let me be the player I wanted to be. A lot of coaches would have got rid of me a long time ago. He told me he had my back 110%. After losing the first two games of the series at home, the Rockets flew into Phoenix for a must-win game three. People are doing under this kind of pressure. Barkley's fadeaway jumper over Carl Herrera. When Danny sort of gave him a little signal at the end of the game, like collar getting a little tight. Hakeem Olajuwon. The lob inside for Ori, the bounce pass. Vernon Maxwell. That's a three. Maxwell couldn't get back to him. Maxwell on the drive again. And it rolls again. You're in, Sam. Ori has the elbow on AC. Right. Got him double And then here comes Maxwell and AC Green. Now see, Maxwell has got to be smart. He's playing well. It's a tie game. 60 pounds. Rockets. By nine. Denied the paint. Then he takes it right back in there. Oh, what a big turn. Now, Ellie, that's a taunting fella. Should give him a technical. Should give him a technical. One of the gutsy performances in Rocket history. Maxwell. Ellie with the penetration. Maxwell, how about five? Five threes in a row. Oh. That's a big bucket. Maxwell's all alone to the basket. And that's the game right there. Well, I just told him to kick the ball up to me and let me break down the defense before it gets set. And I got my confidence going. It was on from there. I definitely feel confident. It was going to be tough for anybody to stop me on that night. He has five. Smith all alone for the three. And he is. Uh... I went to Lajuan. I said, OK, now, Dream. Now, I got us back in the series. I'm going to let you take over now. Here's Akeem with the spin. Oh, what a move. Akeem Olajuwon, 37 points, 17 rebounds, three blocked shots. And Scotty Brooks will hold on to the ball. 
Well, the Houston Rockets can finally say home sweet home. They win their first home game of this series, and it's three wins in a row over Phoenix. It was just amazing how the momentum just switched, and I just see Barkley and KJ just the look in their faces. They just couldn't believe what was going on. Or is it the one? I'll be for five thousand dollars. Thought he had came, but it was gold, met a flower. Reached under my seat, grab my papa for the suckers. Ain't no use in the line. I was scared of getting a motherfucker. Put the left in the Popeyes and better die quick. If it's going down, let's get this shit over with. Here they come, just like I figured. I got my hand on the motherfucking trigger. When I saw him, make your ass start giggling. Three black crippling crazy senior citizens. I live by the swamp. I take my boys everywhere I go because I'm paranoid. I keep looking over my shoulder and people around town. My mind is playing tricks on me. The Houston Rockets had proved the doubt is wrong and established a new identity for themselves, becoming known as the team from Clutch City. I think the first two games we lost was a blessing in the sky because it brought us closer together. This chemistry that we have now, if we maintain it, we go all the way. Hockey, I'm here representing millions and millions of basketball fans around the world to tell you that you've had a spectacular NBA career. You've led your team to its best season ever. You're a certain Hall of Famer, and you do it with an elegance and a grace that's spectacular. Congratulations on being the 1994 NBA Most Valuable Player. You no, know, basketball is a team sport. I'd like to extend my gratitude to my teammates for their contributions for making this happen. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. A matchup against the Utah Jazz awaited Houston in the Western Conference Finals. My mind is playing tricks on me. It's a matter of someone stepping up, and every night someone was willing to do that. That carries over, you know, people after that game will go, well, maybe next, next game, tomorrow night, it'll be my turn, and I'll try to do something to make it my turn. We are shooting with a lot of confidence, and we are shooting well, and we was playing well, and it was going to be tough for anybody to beat us in that series. Treating, robbing little kids for bags, till an old man got behind our ass. So we speeded up the pace, took a look back, and he was right before our face. He'd be in for a squad with no doubt. The Rockets would take the series in five games, despite the best efforts of the timekeeper in Utah. All right, here we go. Chambers will throw it in bounds for the Utah Jazz. Kyle Malone's probably going to try to muscle it, or they'll shoot the outside shot, one or the other. Chambers looking, still looking. Out it comes one a sec. 12 o'clock. Well, start the time clock! They're not even starting the clock! The clock! They didn't even start the clock! They haven't, they haven't even started the clock! They haven't yet! The the got, oh, we got it! Something's got to give here! What's Can you going believe this? They it's haven't even started the clock! We got it anyway! The ball, we got it anyway! Take it in! Take it in! Take it in! Take it in! This ball game is over! Oh my yes, goodness gracious! Yes! Yes! Oh, it's winning it! The Rockets win it! And boy, that's one of the dirtiest plays I've ever seen! What is the world is the matter with those people? Holy cow! Eight seconds! Oh man, you talk about a home court advantage. Woo!